Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. If you've got a gluten intolerance, wheat allergy, celiac disease or you're simply gluten free by choice, please consider subscribing to my channel for more gluten free recipes and other information about gluten. Here I've got some tomatoes and I harvested these from my mini back garden and I'm going to pop them into a little bowl. And we're going to add a quarter of a teaspoon of chili flakes. You can add more. I might add more. I'm adding a little bit more. Okay. Then we're going to add a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. And you can add less. And now I'm just going to add the juice of half of a lemon. And one tablespoon of honey. So if you haven't got honey, you can use maple syrup or you can use any form of sweetener you've got. It's fine. You can add more honey or more sweetener if you want to. I might add a little bit more. I'm not quite sure yet. I'll just taste it and then see if I need more. So now we're just going to mix everything together. So I'm adding half more tablespoon of honey. And I'm going to add a little bit more chilli. Probably a quarter of a teaspoon. So as I said before, you can just add any amount you want. If you want it to be a little bit spicy, then you can add more or you can add less. Then I'm going to add some black pepper. this here you can use vinegar if you want to so you don't have to use the lemon and you can use like one lemon it depends on how much you're making yeah and how tangy you want it to be so this is basically sweet and sour chili pickled tomatoes I'm going to pop it into a jar and I'm going to leave it and it will be ready to eat tomorrow. And then I'm just gonna pour all the juice that's left. And here I've got my pickled tomatoes. So you can have this with sandwiches, you can have it with burgers, and it's great for snacking. So here I've got two onions. I'm gonna be using half of each. And I've got some allspice or pimento. So in Jamaica, this is known as pimento. Then I have um, chayote. Um, this is also known as chocho in Jamaica. I have four scotch bonnet peppers and I have got one carrot. So I'm going to peel this one here and I'm not quite sure if I'm going to be using all of it because I'm just making a small batch. So that's the container that I've got. So it's just a small batch. And yeah, I will be using this stilled malt vinegar. Um, it's made from barley. Barley has got gluten in it. But I read on Celiac UK where the process that it takes to make um, vinegar, apparently it suppressed all of the gluten that is in it. So it is not enough to cause any form of harm to us if we suffer from celiac or if we've got a gluten intolerance. So apparently, however, this that I'm making is for my sister. It's not for me because... Although it's read that um, the process suppressed all of the gluten so it won't be harmful for us, I still do not trust it because it's made from barley. The fact that this is made from barley then, I'm a little bit concerned even if they say that because there's quite a few things that I can't consume like for example rice and rice is totally, completely gluten free. 
but when I do, I have issues with it. I'm bloated because it can be contaminated and I'm always the unlucky one. If I were to make mine, I would use um, lime or lemon juice instead of the vinegar because you can do that and that is 100% gluten-free. So I think I will be making one that is actually 100% gluten-free, but this is for my sister. She hasn't got any problem with gluten, so I'm going to make her this pickle. I'm not quite sure if I'm going to use all of it, so what I'm going to do is just do half. And if I do need this bit, then I'll use the, then I'll peel that and then add that to it. So I believe it has got a seed inside, so you're just going to take out the seed because you don't need that. And then you don't need to see me chopping this. I'll show you what it looks like after I finish. So we're going with half. So it's quite thin. You don't have to cut them that thin, but I do want them that thin. Okay, so we finished with that. Now we're just going to chop the peppers. And with the peppers, do remember to wash your hands before you touch anything. I'm not going to use all four, I'm just going to use enough to, but I will be taking out all the seeds, by the way, as much as I can, just in case my niece is going to try it. I might only use two, because I'm only making a small batch, as I said before, so it's not going to be big. And this you can slice this as thin as possible too. Here I've got some peppercorn and what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and remove all the red ones because I would love to use those ones. So for the allspice, I'm just going to put probably about six at the bottom. Then... And put in the chocha or the chayate at the bottom. have a look at that so beautiful and then I'm adding some more pimenta or allspice at the top I have quarter cup here and I'm just gonna be pouring this in and I'm gonna add some more as well So this is what it looks like after I'm finished with it. So basically this can be stored in your refrigerator and it will last for up to six months if it's in your refrigerator. However, you can also store it on your countertops or you can just store it in your cupboards. It's fine. It's okay. If you do store it in your refrigerator, it loses some of the flavor.
so much for watching if you do like this video please give me a like if you've got a gluten intolerance wheat allergy celiac disease or you simply like my contents please consider subscribing to my channel for more gluten-free recipes and other information about gluten thank you